Welcome everyone to the final episode of Planner App. Finally, we are here. This course took a lot of time, but it was enjoyable. Like, uh, yeah, during that period, a lot of things happened. But right now we are here, come to the end. And right now we have a very interesting session, very interesting Azure resource. And we are going to see a lot of nice, cool things. So after we have built the app and we see that, wow, this app is working so great and we liked it. After we added all the features that we want, so right now we want to publish this app. So one of the newest resources created by Azure called Azure Static Web Apps. So basically this is a new resource provided directly for us just to deploy apps that's actually built with a single page applications like Blazor, React, Angular, Vue.js and things like that. So you know that this kind of apps becomes very common, especially that when, when you don't have actually a full API, instead you are having like a serverless API. So in that case, Azure Static App is the right case for you. We don't have, our API is hosted somewhere else. Uh, so we just care about our Blazor app. So we want to put it over here. Uh, how, how we are going to publish that? We are going, to, like Azure Static Web Apps have provided us with an amazing experience to do so using GitHub Actions. But the good thing is that it automatically detects everything for you. It creates the workflow for you. And so all you have to do is basically just nothing, like publish something to the main and you are just ready to go. This is the main link of the Azure Static Web Apps. I'm going to put it in the description below. You can read more about that, but it's, it's something super, super simple, straightforward and powerful at the same time. If we go to, to the GitHub, so this is the code. This is the code that we have right now that actually works. And if I open the source folder, this is the app I want to publish, right? It is source slash a planner app. This is actually our app that we want to put on Azure. So I'll go to the Azure portal right now over here. So things is going to be very straightforward, very simple. And I will click on create a resource and let's search for static web app. Here we go. So this is the static web app. Let's let's hit on create and follow the what's required. So the resource group is going to be the planner app resource group. Uh, sorry, planner app resource group. I'm gonna call it Blazor. Uh, sorry, Blazor planner app. Blazor planner app. Yeah, that's good, and it looks like it is available. And the hosting plan dedicates your bandwidth, custom domain, storage, and other available features. But for our case, we are going to use the free one just for hobby or personal projects because, you know, this is just like a training project. Let's keep it in the central US. And the, the last thing that you have to choose is actually where is, where is your code? Is it on GitHub or is it on other places like uh, DevOps, for example, or things like that? Our code is in GitHub. So let's see how we can actually get this work to work with GitHub. Super straightforward. I'll click on sign in with GitHub and I'll say, yeah, authorized Azure static web apps. Let me put my password, confirm and continue. So here we go. I have logged in. I will choose my organization. Then it will fetch the repositories for me. I will pick up planner app dash version two. Yeah, this one. And let's say the branch, it's the main branch. Now let's choose the build uh, the build details. Enter the values you created a GitHub action workflow file for build release. You can modify the workflow later in your GitHub repository, of course. Our application is basically using Blazor. So where is Blazor? Here it is. And where is the location of the app? Like the location of the app is basically, as you can see, the application code, for example, slash represent the root of your app while app represents a directory called app. So I will, it's, it's, it's existing actually in source slash, as you can see, source slash planner app. So planner app like that. We don't have an API and the output location is, let's keep it for app slash build. Okay, let, let, let's keep it to app slash build. We can create something like that. And yeah, right now this is to preview, like it's creating a YAML file for you that represents the, the 
like continuous delivery, continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline using the GitHub Actions. So I'll click on Review and Create, and hopefully all is going to be good. We don't have any issues. Let's see what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Click Create. So now if I go over here, I should see after a little bit that actually, here we go. You see that the application creates a GitHub workflow for us automatically. And right now if I go to actions, you will see that this one will be working shortly. Like you see right now it's in progress and it started to work and we'll deploy our app over here so that, that that's great all of that happened for us fully autom automatically we didn't do anything we just told them like this is the branch this is the folder this is and yeah like this is the magic of this amazing resource alongside the magic of github actions okay github actions is out of the scope of this course but basically it's something similar to azure devops pipelines where actually you can set up a build pipeline build your app and publish it to to your server, which is in our case, it's the Azure Static Web App resource. So, if I click over here, and this is the link actually generated for you. So, if I click over here, of course, I'm going to see nothing because like the app is not published yet. This is the link of my app. I'll be waiting just a little bit until this one is fully deployed. So right now, whenever I make any commit directly to the main, this one gonna work and start actually building and deploying my app directly for this one. All automated, all happens like magic, right? If I open this and see what it is doing, Here we go. It built everything, run the actions right now. It's calling the last step, which is build and deploy. Almost there, almost there. It's compressing the WebAssembly app. Oh, we got an error that says So what we got over here is actually it says that the app slash build folder is, is not there. And actually, yeah, that makes sense. I suppose that it's going to create that folder, but it didn't. So what I will do is that we have to edit this. Let me cancel this workflow. And I will go back over here and... will click on the edit of this file and what I will do is just I will change from app build to www root just like that as it was at the beginning so fix the output location of the build commit changes so here we go the change has been committed back to the main so the action will work right now one more time so we have to wait it again it's taking up to five minutes and look at that it's built and successfully deployed right now it's available on azure and if we hit refresh we should see the planner app available online this is the goal this is the target there is no other feeling that actually makes you feel that great when you actually start with a little idea and then start writing code, more and more and more and more of code, then 
you create an Azure static web app, right to three clicks on your mouse, and then you have all this magic cabinets for you and your app is running online. People can visit that. Wow, that's amazing, right? I will head right now this, I will try to log in. Log in. Oh, cool, look at that. Our application is running online and you can access this URL actually and play with that. That's cool. If I go to plans, here we go. We have some cool messages from cool people. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. This is all great. And if we click on add a plan, I will try to first plan from online. And then the description is, this is the first plan that we add from Azure from Planner app hosted in Azure Static Web App. Cool, and I'll hit save. And here we go, we have it. Everything's very, very quick, super fast. I can click a view, I can add descriptions, I can do all the stuff I want. Our app is functioning online just like crazy, right? All is great. Uh, so basically, there is like if this is everything i don't i don't think so like there, there are a lot of things that could be added i think that uh right now this app is great the, the level that we have reached until now is super great uh sorry for making this course like a little bit late um uh, it took like a little bit of time but yeah like in the last year it was like a little bit uh under pressure from many things work and things like that traveling but right now we are back and we finalized this course. We did a lot of Blazor concepts. We covered the migration from uh, .NET 5 to .NET 6. We have covered authentication, authorize, uh, uh, we didn't mention authorization, Mud Blazor. We have worked with a lot of Mud Blazor components. We have designed everything from scratch. We have seen how you can write a clean code, how you can structure your HTTP requests and do too many things that I hope that those gonna help you actually start building your own things with, with, with Blazor and focusing on the client. Uh, so now what's next? Uh, next, there is a lot of stuff available for us on for, for the upcoming, uh, for this year actually, more uh, courses like Postman, like how to build APIs correctly, how to structure APIs, how to work with serverless technologies like Azure Functions and developing native Azure apps. Uh, too many things that's coming right now. In this stage, I think we are we are we are very good. So thank you so much for watching. So I will, there's going to be like a very short video after that, just to to take your opinion and see what's next. So thank you so much for watching and see you then.